Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, Truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend $2 million on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh. This Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you, you know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. 
What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why, well, be because I'm living out here away from the bead machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from L.S.? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. Dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mike will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at this bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. Uh, take us around back. Okay. I like it. Man, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Mm hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, no, no. Uh-uh. No. This is the score. Right. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay, I brought my police scanner. to drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Bolito cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor yeah. shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. Michael, what's up, dude? Check it, dude. What's up? I'm heading up to This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops guarding dirty money. Fuck how many? We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm, possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. 
We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. I shouldn't have come. I should have known. We're fine. We're gonna get out of here. Trevor Phillips, of course this would turn into a car chase. We're not being chased. Not yet. Not at all. Look, take a deep breath. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to Trevor's office. When Trevor says office, he really means... A burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea? I've seen the title of ownership. Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Uh, dirt track. Let's get bumpy. And judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. The meth lab, just perfect! Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? The alarm is a UXVF-111 classification, minute-long relay interval, third-party verification, multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it. But? But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. Uh, about that. You have been day trading? No. God, no. I mean... Shit! Okay, then! I mean, yeah, 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 I've been trading, but no, that's not why we need the money. Then why do you need the money? <laughs> All right. So, there's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're going to release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County Savings... Blaine County Savings and Loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the lab. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, look it! I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see, but I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy are we talking? Taking the cops head on, messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They aren't going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got a couple ideas. <laughs> All right. Well, we got here before the Lord of the Manor. <laughs> the man slows me down. Always has. What took you so long? <laughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. 
Uh, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. Uh, I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. Uh, I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He handled this really the guy. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Well, suit yourself. Fine, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been... thinking about it. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Uh, please, son. <laughs> you want a sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Oh, fuck you. Uh, so where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit, the picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you gone. Man, 10 years in the sun, your brain is melted. You you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? Did I fucking kill only on the weekends? So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, sane, 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 okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know. But I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty on. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here, by calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so 
fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. I apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. I hope you're happy. All right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else, to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boss. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. So what is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about it? God damn it! Shit! They see us, man. We gotta stay on. <laughs> no, Chuck. We can't deal with them yet. It's too many of them. Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We coming up to WH, north of Chumas. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo, when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Elk in the road! Oh, fuck! Yours, chop. Let's do this shit. Oh, shit! <laughs> Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support, like, right fucking now. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. Them hick dudes in the woods. 
That model's fitted with a thermal scope. Look for their heat signatures. Check the river. They might be trying to float out of here. Oh, well, there's a guy in the creek over here. Brought his ass down. Not this time, Padno. We ain't found him yet. And what are you doing out so late? Just one poor soul remaining. They haven't got past Franklin, so they gotta be on the hill. Movement just above you. Possibly human. Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're going to bar this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back in Casa Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Car lady. Ah! 
We did it! Lester the molester, bro. We got ourselves some military hardware. It's parked out back in my office. All right. We might be ready to move on this thing. That's crazy as hell.
Hi. Fine. 